Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining online and here. Today, I'm going to cover, like you know, that how Udu can help and benefit hypermarket, grocery chain stores, supermarket type of solution. And I think today in the morning, Fabian was talking about industry-based solution. That is one of the thing that Udu is coming up with this time. That how to give industry-based solution. And that's what, uh, as a company, Brainware, we are trying to show you that how industry-specific solution can be done on top of Udu, what type of advantages that you can get it. Uh, just to start with the housekeeping thing, uh, uh, just wanted to have a, like, you know, this is just a QR code. So if you guys have any questions, online team, any questions, please ask on that. And we'll be happy to answer the question at the end of that. Little bit about us, I mean, Brainwire, we are a digital transformation agency as a company. Udu is one of our premium partnership that we have. Apart from Udu, we are partner with Adobe, we are partner with Cloud on Amazon and uh, Microsoft. Uh, very strong presence in North America, which is US and Canada, Middle East in Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi, Singapore and India. Uh, proudly associated with Udu worldwide in all those locations. Uh, 1800 Brainers work for us and our focus is on digital transformation and helping companies a brand of tomorrow that how to take them into a digital journey and help them with the best solution. Uh, 18 and, I mean 350 professionals work for us uh, in terms of Udu. 180 are Udu certified developers that we have. Close to 80 plus integration that we have done with Udu where the data is coming within the Udu, going outside the Udu. Uh, and 250 plus uh, projects that we have implemented considering small to large size in different countries. A uh, little bit about myself, I'm the CEO and founder of the company. Overall, like you know, 20 years in the entrepreneurship journey, 13 years with associated with the ERP, nine years associated with this company, Brainwire, which we started, and we grew to 1,800 people at this point of time. Now, Agenda that we are trying to do is that like, you know, kind of challenges that hypermarket, supermarket face, like, you know, kind of challenges that they are facing, uh, kind of features that can be possible, can be enhanced, can be developed within the Udu system. And then the result that you are expecting based on that, whether how we can increase the efficiency or can be reduce some of the customer satisfaction issues and things like that. Like, you know, some of the major challenges that hypermarket that goes through right now, when you look at it, is like, you know, majority is going to be inventory management, right? You know, whether you have one store, whether you have one location, two locations, three different multi, uh, distribution centers, you have inventory coming in all different type of SKUs, all different type of sizes, how to manage, how to maintain, how to do, get into that. Second is the major issue is about the stock alert system. And I think during COVID, all of us has realized that hypermarket and supermarket is something that if you don't keep your inventory, you run out of that very quickly and then you don't have alert system and then you're out of material. Uh, customer experience has been a big issue. Like, you know, personally, when I go to a lot of hypermarket, supermarket within North American region, I generally see that customer experience is not so great when you look at checkout, when you look at like, you know, standing in a long queue, how to see that like, you know, can be done better. If you have online and offline, how to sync online, offline, how to make that customer a seamless experience. Typically, you're not seeing that, like, you know, happening. And then, like, you know, basically about efficiency, like, you know, whether you are doing a procurement with this efficiency or you have your supply chain is efficient or you have your delivery mechanism, whether that is efficient or not. Like, you know, typically, what are the customer preferences or hypermarket scenarios that you come across, right? I mean, typically, you have an order online, pick up from store. You going order online, you want to have a delivery to the home from the nearest store. You have like, you know, you're going to the store and you want to do a checkout. Checkout can be different options. Like, you know, you want to do a shelf checkout, you want to do a bulk checkout, or you have a, like, you know, a standard Amazon type of things where you are just walking across the aisle and things has to be checked out. So you look at all different type of scenarios, right? And then when, when you are visiting the stores, also you look at the scenarios that how to find the items, right? I mean, item finders. That is also one of the big challenge which comes across, right? And that is where... If you do a right warehouse mapping, if you do a light way of logistic mapping, you can actually have a mobile app which can guide you or a customer can guide you with an app saying that, okay, I want to find out a sauce or I want to find out this ingredients, go to aisle this, go to aisle this, you will be able to find out. As long as you have done a correct way of mapping the things and all. And then like, you know, that all the 
third party applications that you have to integrate within your system, right? That loyalty management platform, whether you're using separate system, how you get the loyalty platform, and any other, like, you know, call center and things like that. Like, you know, what we have tried to come up with, couple of our implementation is tailor-made solution on top of Udu, where Brainwire can give that approach from a hypermarket, supermarket type of solution. So one is like, you know, warehouse management system that you set up a warehouse and warehouse management should be both way. That one, that you set up your distribution center in warehouse and second should be your hypermarket or a store solution. That's where also you look at all your aisles and all and map it in a proper way. And we have done for a couple of our customers. One is Super Asia, second is Guruji, both is out of Canada. They have eight stores which are running and they have like seven or eight distribution center. So we have done the entire warehouse management setup and the setup has been done in such a way that each aisle, each location has been marked with a product. And if you are moving inventory from one location to another location, you want to use a picking app within Udu or outside Udu, you develop your own, but you make sure that pick and pack and you make sure that the entire transfer order of movement of inventories are managed. That's where the warehousing is something can be done and we have tried to do that. Second, like you know, that alert system, so since you have map your inventory, map your stocks, you're easily able to do the alert system where you can do the stock alert, low aisle alert, things like that. Uh, forecasting is something which is very important from a supermarket channel perspective, scenario perspective, so when you look at it. So that's where, like, you know, that within the Udu, you can build all your custom APIs and the system on top of that, which can does the forecasting and the cycle count, like, you know, which is not the easiest way to manage the cycle count within the Udu, within the hypermarket scenario. That's where, like, you know, that customization on top of Udu is something that we have developed and try to map sure that it mapped with the level of, like, you know, that uh, number of SKUs and number of aisle and number of location and bin that you need to manage it out. Now, I mean, hypermarket, supermarket scenario, another challenge comes is customer retention, that customer does not have a loyalty. Like, you know, typically the next door will give you a little bit, like, you know, $2 cheap, $1 cheap, and you're going to go away. So only thing that you're going to keep is about the loyalty platform, that order online, pick up from store, you use Udu Commerce, whether you use Magento, whether you use Shopify, make sure that it's very well tightly integrated with your commerce platform. So a couple of our clients are actually using Shopify for their commerce and Udu for the entire so hypermarket scenarios or the, for the warehousing distribution. So that's where we have done the integration with the loyalty management and all, so that you recognize the customer online and offline in a single way and you give them the loyalty. So that is something that is very important that you want to give that. Second is going to be the promotion, offers and discount that you generally come up with those type of things. How you make sure that it get delivered to the customers at the right time, SMS medium, like you know, to deliver that. Email is typically, no one is going to read your email. So that's are the scenarios that we try to do that. Integrating with all those marketing channels is something that can be done. And I think Udu provide a powerful solution for that. And then you have a B2B orders, like, you know, that you have customers, like, you know, that uh, wholesale customers, distributors, which are typically B2B customers, how to make sure that you give them the platform scenarios and the system so that it can be done. So we have done on top of Udu, we developed the custom uh, B2B platform where they can have an order management solution, they can have an ordering tool, reordering tool, and, and their entire loyalty is something that we have mapped on that. Uh, and second, like, you know, the third thing that we want to do is, like, you know, that about the experience within the store, that when you are within the store, that how you make sure that the queue are less, you're able to do a self-checkout, you're able to have all the facilities that, like, you know, that the checkout should be smooth, even at a point of sale counter level that you want to give an easy interface. So Udu has a great point of sale interface, but you want to customize on top of that so that the, your point of sale checkout has to be smooth, quick, and easy so that the staff can learn it quickly and your, like, you know, the customers can have a better experience in terms of moving out. At the same time, like, you know, that lot of time the scenarios come, that lot of customers comes at a checkout option and will give you offers and discount. So you want to have a platform where you can validate that discount, offer, give that benefit to the customer quickly and do the checkout, rather than going back to the system, do the validation of that coupon code, something like that. So that is where, like, you know, developing a small, like, you know, coupon validator or discount validator app within that Udu point of sale checkout system is something which can benefit because a lot of time customers come up with those type of checkout option. I mean, the promotion coupons, physical coupons, online coupons, and you want to make sure that you validate at your point of sale terminal for a faster checkout. So that type of scenario also we have handled that developed a custom uh, 
portal because many times all of these coupons you do it with third party distribution so you want to make sure that when they come back you are able to validate that easily and then like you know customers credit management like you know that also is something that you want to do it for your long term customers b2b customers all of these scenarios comes that uh, we have a scenarios where the customer come or you know b2b customer pick up the order and they don't pay because their credits are there so you want to make sure that your credits are handy within your point of sale terminal so that you able to verify that and easily able to check out the customers like you know i mean key solution that we try to offer within this offering of the warehousing solution is something that we have done with a point of sale and warehousing with a udu is like you know picking and packing mobile app so that like you know doing a custom mobile app where you can do a pick and pack and do the internal stock transfer which is something which is very important when you have multiple stores you want to do a real time syncing of your inventory and if you are in a fast moving item you also want to make sure that your e-commerce is updated so that's where the real time syncing with the e-commerce you know your inventory status inventory update and give that real time is something which is important we had customer scenarios where they have eight stores and they are using udu commerce plus eight physical stores making sure that we able to update the inventory on a real time basis is something that we have done so that's where if they don't have inventory in one location but they have in other location still they want to sell online and they don't want to miss the customer and then the fulfillment process that many time the hypermarket supermarket scenarios people want quick delivery so you might want to deliver from the nearest supermarket or the hypermarket or the store solution that you have you want to deliver from there if you have the inventory and you don't always go on to go back to your central warehouse or central distribution center to do the delivery part of it so this is where like you know that udu with using multi warehousing scenarios with your multi location scenarios and multi stores you able to do that easily and you able to provide that type of features now of course like you know all of those are not out of the box there are certain features which are out of the box but there are open apis which is available so you can customize on top of that and make sure that this data is available and then whatever commerce solution that you are using nowadays i'm sure that you might be using some third party solution as well for taking your groceries and delivery so that is also something can be integrated with your third party solution as well i think like you know self service checkout with rfid is something that we are trying to implement and that is something that we can be done on top of udu that's where the customer experience can be better and like you know that how you do the recycling of your cash management once you receive the cash end of the day sale you want to close the day that also we have seen the nightmare for many of our customers that you have a nightmare to close your day and your day is not closed so that next day morning again the challenge come that how you open the day and you start your something so that is where also like you know some of the solution that we built we try to do that uh very interesting uh, app that we build on top of udu is called digital twin so that you have a digital 3d warehouse we try to map it on that so that actually when you have uh, goods which are coming so you actually look at the volume of the size of the goods and then you try to do it drag and drop and see that whether it can fit in this bin and fit it in this location and if it yes then only you do the physical movement so this is like a virtual scenario where you try to do a virtual mapping based on the product sizing cubic and things like that as long as your warehouse is map so we have implemented this for three of the different customers one in north america one in us one in canada one in dubai and they are actively using this 3d warehousing feature as much as possible in terms of like you know moving the pallets from one location to another location whether it will fit or not and whenever the new incoming containers are coming they are looking at that how to do the mapping part of it uh second thing is capacity overview which is very important that like you know what is the warehousing capacity you have what is a pallet view and try to do that and have that type of feature available within the udu on a single click is something which is very important that what type of uh, capacity that is available what type of capacity which can be you can map it out and then ultimately you see, see that whether you have a over capacity under capacity what is coming and how it can be mapped in something like that yeah uh customer retention and loyalty is something which is very important and in that case like you know online offline syncing is very important so that is where i think udu with a powerful tail tool of open apis and open culture and open platform whether you are using udu commerce whether you are using shopify whether you are using big commerce adobe commerce easily you able to map that integration and we have multiple scenarios like that where we have done a commerce is on a different platform your point of sale is running on a different platform i mean udu and you are mapping sure that you map all of those things so i think 
loyalty mapping, promotional mapping, discounts, offers, online, offline, whether you want to keep it same discount, you want to keep it different discount. With a platform, you should be able to do it out. Now, of course, with Udo Commerce, you have that uh, facility that you do it, but with Adobe or Magento or Shopify, you can build up a connector where you're able to do that online, offline promotions and coupons and things together. I mean, expected outcome that you are looking at, and this is like, you know, statistic that we have tried to cover from few of our customers. So we have seen that like, you know, 30% reduction in terms of your operational cost that you're able to do it efficiently. Cost saving in terms of like, you know, customer experience, in terms of your checkout experience, in terms of your backend operation, in terms of warehouse management and all. Very strong in terms of employee efficiency because that's where like, you know, when you have a 3D warehousing type of feature, you can drag and drop so that actually you can improve the employee efficiency, retention, that satisfaction that they don't need to go physically move things from here to here and then realize that it will not fit and then again go back and then try to do that again. Instead of that, like, you know, using those type of uh, tools that we can build up apps on top of Udo and try to use that which can ultimately can increase the customer, I mean, employee enhancement and employee efficiency in some or other way. Uh, also in terms of like, you know, shopping experience is something which is important that I want to know that whether I am going to get this product within two hours or within eight hours. And if you can have a backend or your operation is well planned, inventory well managed, and inventory able to give a data back to the e-commerce platform, you able to give that customer thing that, hey, you're ordering this, it might take eight hours, and if you're ordering this, it might be available in two hours, or you can go to the store X and pick up, it's already available within that. So as long as you have this backend and frontend synced in some way, you're able to do that. But I think with Udo, you will be able to get that type of multi-inventory, multi-warehousing, uh, multi-store location easily set up, and that data can be done to the frontending system, which can be any system that you have. Uh, also, like, you know, that, like, you know, supply chain that, like, you know, as you, you have a demand and forecasting and you know the low inventory stock alerts and all, and you can do the replenishment of those inventory, whether with it, it's a store or at the distribution level, that's where, like, you know, interruption of uh, things can happen on that. And then overall, like, you know, that you improve your store experience that, like, you know, that if I have a customer who is, like, you know, looking for a product within the store, and if I can give them a mobile app where they can actually locate the product easily and find out that which aisle, which location, that's where the things can be improved in that level. One for the, your internal employees and one for the customer experience, I mean customers. I mean, these are some of our customers that globally that we are doing. So Super Asia is one of the hypermarket that we are uh, chain that we are running and uh, managing it out based out of Canada. Uh, some of other like, you know, Isha Foundation has like, you know, the store and shop in every, like, you know, countries. And that's where we have, we have tried to map their inventory and uh, commerce platform. So they are running commerce on Adobe, Magento Commerce. Their entire backend runs on Udo. And they have like, you know, 17 countries, different operation. So we try to map that uh, with uh, Udo and then entire inventory has been mapped and all. And these are few of our other customers. So like, you know, MBT Shoes is using around 17 countries operations. Some of the countries where they are B2B, some of them are B2C. Ajmal Perfume is 250 physical stores across the Middle East, and uh, we have tried to implement the point of sale solution for them. Yeah. And then there are customers like, you know, American Tire Depot and all, which are like, you know, B2B and B2C, and they do in pallets, they deal in stores, they deal in uh, low level inventory and all. So these are some of the customers, like, you know, few of them we have. Uh, our booth is available here and if you want to see a demo of Super Asia or a couple of our other product, we are happy to show you the demo, how the live inventory and things like that is managed, multi-store scenario, multi-inventory scenario, something that we have tried to map it out and uh, we have tried to come up with that solution. So I was very glad today when Fabian mentioned about it and we think that one of the, this solution of hypermarket is something we can promote that as a industry specific solution because none of the ERPs are right now supporting this and this market is very much fragmented when you look at it everyone is using very old ERP solution so that's where like you know if you can give them uh, next generation omni channel type of experience for all online offline within store outside stores give them the same experience is something that we are trying to map that yeah so this is a brief about us uh, yeah and if you guys have any questions we are uh, 
happy to answer or happy to look at it, yeah. Um, the questions uh, are being written. Maybe already a question from me. How easy is it to set up one of these hypermarket stores with Udu? Like how long would be the... So, I mean, typically from a Udu point of view, it is very easy to set up. Okay, so typically you look at six to eight weeks, you're able to set it out. Problem with hypermarket is that they are not ready with the data. It's a fragmented system, right? I mean, they have everything running in Excel sheet and you go to the biggest of the biggest chain also, you will not find out something which is very, very, very methodical and all. So it's all about the data, right? That if you're able to give a data in a right way, in a right format, and as long as you know that how you want to set up your uh, uh, bin and location and you're able to do that, it should be easy. Six to eight weeks from a Udu point of view, if you look at the entire thing, I think 12 to 16 weeks, 16 weeks is the right time that we should be able to do it out. We, which include even migrating the current category structures and the current uh, data structure as well. Thank you. Um, is the 3D warehouse view model on the App Store available? Yes, it's available on the App Store. It's available for 15 uh, and 16. Yeah, but yeah, it's available on the App Store. Um, another question, when in the process would you use the uh, 3D warehouse view? Like, would you do it only when setting up or do you do it every no. time you fill the... So typically you will do it like, you know, once you implement, first of all, you should implement a normal warehousing system with Odoo. Map everything in a proper way. Once you have done that, and once you look at like, you know, that as long as, first of all, you have to manage your inventory properly, that your inventory count your inventory cubic size. All of those things has to be perfect. If you have those things mapped out correctly in terms of volume of your inventory, size of your inventory and all, and once you have mapped all of those things properly, that is where I think the 3D warehousing, some things you should do it. So to answer your question, it doesn't need to be done at the start of it. It can be done after three months of implementation. That's where you start using it out. And I mean, start mapping it out. And then slowly, slowly, you start using it out that system. But we have seen that some great improvement in terms of the satisfaction of the warehousing team. That instead of like, you know, you're picking a pallet from here, going to that location, and then you realize that it's not fit bunt. Okay, so then I'm just wasting my time and efficiency and satisfaction. Thank you. Um, is Odoo capable of handling as much transactions and inventory movements, like maybe millions in a week for big hypermarkets? So, I mean, we have a scenarios where we have done like, you know, around three to four million SKUs uh, handled it out. So, I mean, that's not a problem. Transaction wise, if you ask me, like, like, you know, we have looked at it. We have customers which are doing around 10, 12,000 transactions a day from a one location and easily manage it out. So, it can be manageable. But yes, of course, it cannot be managed with a Udo SH. You have to go into a multi-scale and scalable architecture. So, you have to scale up in that way. But we have done that type of scenario. I think Anthony was mentioning a little bit about yesterday about the scaling up architecture, how they are planning to do. So of course you have to do a database server separately and uh, your application server separate. In the database also you have to distribute your read and write. And with those type of efficiency and you do it scalable serverless architecture, it should be able to do it out, yeah. At least it's able to handle. We have handled up to like, you know, eight to 10,000 orders a day from one location, seven, eight locations, so 70, 80,000 orders and uh, 4 million SKUs. Thank you. Uh, a final question. Uh, how many custom modules have you developed for the um, 3D warehouse view? Uh, I think this is a little bit technical about my thought process, but uh, if you ask me that, uh, I think inventory management, warehousing, uh, a little bit of, uh, like, you know, the stock movement, those are the modules which will be touching some or other way in the inventory part of it. Uh, it's an app which is available that you can download. Of course, we have to customize on top of that based on every warehousing, how that's set up. But the basic model is there. So, like, you know, I mean, if the question is that how much customization needed, I will say that, like, you know, typically within one week or two weeks, you should be up and running. How many modules it is touching, if that is the question, I think inventory and warehousing, these are the modules that it will touch. And maybe stock moment transfer movement if there is a module on that, yeah.
Okay, thank you very much. There's Perfect. no more questions. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much.